Hey, what's up my friends? I hope you're having a great day. I just wanted to check in with you about some research I've been doing and once I get researching my mind goes in a million different places and it and I want to know everything all at once but if I wait until I fully grasp something I may never get to share any information with you. So I wanted to just give you a little update on what I've been reading about and this all started when I went to visit an on um, an integrative doctor in Suffern, New York named Dr. Michael Schachter. He has the Schachter Center for Complementary Medicine and I went to see him in 2011 when I was first diagnosed with my stage 4 melanoma to get his opinion on what I should do. And while I didn't follow up with him then, I went back to see him because I've gotten some local clients and I wanted to refer them to um, a local doctor. So uh, when I went to see him, he showed me a lecture that he gave recently and uh, touched up upon the work of Dr. Thomas Seafried, who's written a book on cancer as a metabolic disease. And um, his work is based partly off of the work of Dr. Otto Warburg, who won a Nobel Prize in uh, 1931, I think it was, um, in physiology for his work on cellular respiration and metabolism, and he studied um, how cancer works. So Dr. Warburg believed that cancer was a result of um, mitochondria that were not functioning properly, and then when mitochondria don't function properly, they produce reactive oxygen species or free radicals, which then damage your DNA, and so you get when you have cancer, you do get, uh, you do have damaged DNA and uh, mutated genes, which is what conventional medicine is primarily targeting, um, which is really downstream results of damaged mitochondria. And while I don't know if this is, you know, this theory is that simple, um, Dr. Gerson also addressed mitochondrial issues in his own therapy using high potassium and low sodium diet to help fix the, um, or you know, help with uh, mitochondrial function. Dr. Gerson also used thyroid, which um, I believe increased the size of mitochondria and increased the, um, the number of mitochondria in cells to help with cell respiration and energy production because mitochondria are well are where we get um, where we produce the energy for our cells and in functions um, including DNA repair so when you don't get mitochondria that are functioning properly we get damaged DNA so um, practically speaking let's see Dr. Thomas Seafried, he proposes the ketogenic diet, which um, there's a lot of skepticism around. Um, it's, it's, uh, I don't know, how, how people are able to actually carry it through. Um, and then also, even if they do, if they are able to um, do the therapy, it's not really a long-term solution. So, um, on the other hand, there's the Gerson therapy to detoxify uh, your body and help your mitochondria function better um, and restore the nutrients that your cells need. And last of all, preventing cancer by eliminating toxins from your diet and your environment. Otto Warburg, he, um, he even grew his own food because he believed that cancer was a result of pollution. So. He, and he, according to a video that I watched, which may or may not be true, he would also bring his own organic tea bags to restaurants to uh, have tea. And uh, a man after my own heart bringing, bringing his own stuff to the restaurant. Um, so for you, um, hopefully this hasn't been too confusing. Uh, I would recommend avoiding toxins to prevent cancer and detoxifying once you, if you have cancer and having a healthy balanced diet, uh, which may be individualized. Dr. Gonzalez, he uh, 
based off the work of Dr. Kelly, used individualized diets, whereas the Gerson therapy is um, mostly the same diet for every person. But you got to do your own research. Um, I hope this was helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like me to look into specifically, um, anything that you think would be beneficial for others. Let me know and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.